Next, we have Thomas Griffin from Tyrone with 4,184 shares. <coughs> Hello, Thomas. Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have a statement and then a question from that statement. Yes, sir. If a foreign entity were to detonate a nuclear device above 25 miles or higher above the United States, it would call, uh, cause an electromagnetic pulse, which would in fact take out not only the electric grid, but trains, all cars with computers, all radio TV stations, the telephone company, and we would really be in bad shape because everything that runs on electricity, which is virtually all businesses, would be down. And my question to you is, does Southern Company have backup, shielded hardware and software to bring a control station back up and shield it from this so that they could replace it and bring a grid back online? Yes, sir. Uh, I can't speak to the details of how we protect ourselves. This is an item of national security. Rest assured that we pay a lot of attention um, to preserving the sanctity of the electric networks in the Southeast, including things like EMF, okay? Um, but in terms of a lot of the details there, uh, we prefer not to say too much publicly about that. That just invites problems, in my view. But the other thing I think you should recognize is somebody's detonating uh, a nuclear bomb that emits an EMF force above the United States, we're in deeper problems already. So, uh, but, but uh, we, uh, we hear you, and we actually have plans in place to accommodate those kinds of issues. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it.